Oh, it's always good doing deals in the car park at the flea, I tell you. Have a look at this. Jeez. Two bucks for those. Uh -huh. uh, sorry, a dollar. Uh huh. 50 cents. Yep. These are four bucks. Four bucks in there. Well, guys, we are back for yet another week down at the local flea. I absolutely love this place. We're trying to pick stuff up to sell it onto eBay for a profit. I've got no expectations for today. I'm a little bit hungover, if I'm completely honest with you. Um, so let's get into it, make the most of this morning, find some cool stuff to sell. That's really cool. Yeah, I know. I'm just thinking my, my, um, every, everyone's saying it's worth quite a bit of money, so maybe I should tell my son just that I'll Google it. <laughs> is it? Is it? It's brand new. Oh, well, it's not brand new. It's 2000, but it's never been used. It's never been used, so it's no. like complete and everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. You just don't see them, I guess, no, all that often. No, you don't see them, do you? Yeah. No. Yeah, so they've got it on the front. Yeah. Oh, he was just saying one went for three and a half thousand or something. <laughs> oh, surely not. I don't think so. I don't oh, think... actually, that comes out front. That's why I couldn't oh, get it. Oh, that's cool. I should have him open, shouldn't I? Yeah, you got to put him on display. <laughs> How much? you got 50 on him, hey? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. And that's got its uh, little little device, this front yeah, thing. It's tucked in there, isn't it? Oh yeah, it's got that too, that's good. <laughs> hey, um, I'll take him for 50. I'm just thinking though, I, might, I don't think I'll, I might sell him, I think I might keep him, isn't that terrible? <laughs> gonna hold on to him. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, you're gonna hold him? Yeah, right. Such a shame she doesn't want to sell that Yano, Yano device because we could have got about 175 for it. 50 wouldn't have been a bad spend. You got any cool stuff today? Well, I, I always come to this booth here. Yeah. Because this booth's always got some good stuff. I try to. It's getting harder and harder, yeah. Oh, it is getting a lot harder. Like American Horror Story is good. Well, that cool hates you, it. Man. Yeah, bro, absolutely. Great right. to see ya. See ya. We'll see you soon. So I had all of those before. Oh, did you? How much is your horse called? So you got. You know what that is? First, second, and eight. From Germany. Do that. They're a dollar each, Matt. What's left? They're a dollar each. That's all we got left. Well, I'll do it. I'll okay. do it. I'll do Based this. You had PS4? Jeez, I should have come early, shouldn't I? But well, I ain't one? set up till 7.30, so... Because you do, you do a bit of a run around, yeah, hey? Smart. It's so smart. There's nothing out there they wouldn't do. Five dollars. Um, Wentworth, Wallace and Gromit. That's a cool. That's a great show, actually. Love Wallace. We'll put that in there. So where are we at now? So we have got five, 20. twenty bucks. Yeah. All right, let's do it. And what do you got in here? You got some cool stuff in there. Not really. I got these that size thirteen golf. Wow, oh, the Lunarons. Um, okay. You ever seen these before? No, what are they? They're just a whole lot, but they're undead dolls. It's Halloween, my man. Oh, no. Spooky. I saw this. I got a hooker. Spooky. What do you got there? The pickup pick artist. Up. I'll, I'll take that one. Women. I'll take that one. <laughs> no, you I'll, bloody won't. I'll buy that off you. I'll read it and then you can have it. I need all the help I can get. <laughs> Me too, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, you got nothing, you just arrived. Just pretty much Wait, arrived, man. Game. Just arrived. Nathan's got uh, some stuff out in his car, though. Oh. So we're going to go out there and have a bit of a look. How much on the shoes? Just those ones there. Ten bucks, would you do five bucks? Yeah, just take them. Yeah? No worries. We've got a very, very important stall to check out here. My man, how are ya? This is awesome. Unreal, how's it been this morning? Good. Yeah? Very busy, sold most of it. I sold think. most of it, yeah. This one's a good one. Yeah. That's sick, man. I got a Furby too. Oh, you got a Furby? Yeah. Um, how's everything going? Where are you sourcing all your stuff from? Uh, uh, most of it, to be honest, from the church shop. That, uh, the church one, only, yeah. yeah. This, this, that. Um, I got this. Do you know if this one's working? No idea. I've taken the batteries and there's no batteries in there. They weren't eroded. There weren't no corrosion or anything no, in there? Like How much are you selling that for? Oh, it's 10 
for 10 bucks? Yeah. Well, mate, I'll do that. And then what do you got over here? You got some books. Yeah, I got most of them are sealed. Most are sealed. Yeah. Anime books do, do pretty well. Yeah. And that's DVDs, isn't it? Yeah, okay. All discs are in there. All discs are in there. How much are you doing on that? Uh, five. Five? Fifteen? And then... Any good ones in here? A lot of souls. The, the good ones have sold? Yeah, so like a lot of it's kind of left over. Yeah, gotcha. All this stuff was like near to the back, but I kind of moved it to the front. Yeah, I hear. And that's that there. Nah, cool, man. Everyone's sort of diving into the Pokemon cards, aren't they? Yeah, the right ones. Absolutely, the right ones. Yeah. Um, all right, mate. Well, let's let's lock it down for fifteen, eh? Yeah. Cool. Happy days. Yeah. That's elite. Awesome. That's elite. Thanks. That's elite, Thanks. brother. Unreal. Great to see you. Keep uh, keep buying, keep selling them, man. Man, there's some good stuff today. Hey, Maddie, how are you? How you doing? Yeah, good. You got some real good stuff here today. Oh, wow. Look at this. Is that is there an Atari in there? Yeah. Wow. Really? How you been? All good? Yeah, all good. Yeah, nice. Unreal. Teletubbies and everything. We chased it for the PS1, a couple of PS2. Oh, oh you're doing a bundle. Okay. That's epic. Size small though. A little disappointed in size small, but it's still a sweet jacket. Carhartt as well. It's got some good stuff. Always got to tip the busker. Got to tip the busker. That's how you get the good deals. If you tip the busker, it just automatically means good luck. It does. These, I've never seen these. Yeah, man. I actually got them from over here. Did you? Yeah, just a private tip. A private buyer? Yeah, man. Never seen them before. Yeah, like, oh, wow. Mm. Like the 12 inch. Jeez, that's like mint. Yeah, bro. That's awesome. What do they sell for? Uh, 50, 60 bucks. 50, 60, are they? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, I'd really love to build connections to get more of this sort of stuff, hey? Because you know it's going to sell well. Very mysterious. Oh, it does move. Yep, absolutely. This is awesome. From the 2014 from the States, yeah. Figures Toyco. Yeah, wow, well, Barbie stuff. WrestleMania. Shawn Michaels. So, what's the plan of attack for you boys? Do you head off straight after this? Yeah. Yeah? yeah we'll Get on the road? Down. Yeah. Yeah, nice. Back down and then we got to. Picking Tari for some Star Wars stuff, so sweet. We'll do that, and then we'll be home by. I don't know, I'll be home nine, ten o'clock tonight. Wow. Yeah. Work, work. Yeah. Are you are you full time? Yeah. You are. Yeah. So you're gonna post tomorrow. Yeah, I'm gonna do the post tomorrow. Yeah, one day in. Yeah. You and me both. Yeah, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, guys, we're very, very close to 25,000. So it'd be great to get you on board. All we have to do is hit the subscribe button. Plenty more flea market content to come. Man, this has got to be the best stall here. <laughs> Jeez, this is, this is exactly what I look for at the flea market. Goodness gracious. Can't believe my eyes. All grabbed from over there, eh? Uh, pretty much all my sons don't fit in anymore. You're kidding. Uh-huh. He's a size 14 now. Man. He's just, he ups and downs in his weight. Does he? Yeah, because he's just stripping at the moment. And he's dropped 14 kilos in less than a month. Holy. And we're going, are you kidding? That means more clothes. Yeah, wow. <laughs> 
And I've got I've got a YouTube channel. Oh, and I film cool things found at flea markets, <laughs> buy and sell. And this is like, this is the stuff I hope to find down here. <laughs> Whether or not I can pay 400, I don't know, but yeah, that's it. It's still pretty crazy oh, to see. Have you? Yeah. I hear you, yeah. The yeah. Jonas ones are 500 bucks, but you can't, they're really 900 pairs made. Nine, yeah, yeah, they're a great pair. I just like the dunks. It's a shame you don't have a size 12. Yeah. Because yeah. I'm, uh, I'm a 12, they're just so hard to come by. I mean, I've got to get out of here before I buy it all. <laughs> good to see you guys. See you later. What's the latest? How are you, bro? You good? Yeah, good, man. Doing all right, eh? About four hundred so far, so. Oh, that's better, better than last yeah, week. Yeah, another hour to go. This is your year, eh? Yeah, bro, yeah. Epic, man. I actually thought that uh, Monster Hats were better than what they actually are. There was no significant comps on eBay for this like I thought there'd be. A bit of a blind purchase for $10. Uh, it is in really good condition and it is genuine, though. So I'm going to try and go for about 30 bucks. It means that we're going to make about 5 or $6. If I had my time again, I probably wouldn't have bought this. For $10. If it was a dollar or two, I would have definitely bought it. It's all down to the price that you purchase for. So I've just picked up these. Uh, we've got the Adidas Ultra Boosts. They're a men's size uh, nine and a half. Uh, should be able to get about 60 bucks for them just based on the fact they are in great condition. I couldn't film the buyer because the lady, uh, the vendor that was selling them, she just didn't want to be on camera. So I told her we'd, uh, we'd have a bit of a chat about it, just you and I over to the side. So. Um, awesome pair of shoes here, guys. If you're looking for your sneakers, Adidas Ultra Boosts are always a good buy. Oh, it's always good doing deals in the car park at the flea, I tell you. That's where the best deals get done. Well, it is a car boot sale. It is a car boot sale. It's just a... It doesn't matter where you are. It's just a private, <laughs> it's a private car boot. Have a look at this. Jeez. Is that tub full as well? Uh, yeah. So oh, my goodness. That's what you had last week, eh? Yeah, so this is two bucks for those... Uh -huh. uh, sorry, a dollar. Uh huh. Fifty cents. Yeah. These are four bucks. Four bucks in there. Are they from last week as well? No, this is stuff that I've currently got listed. Oh, you've got all that listed. It's just been like sitting there for a while. Yeah. Okay. Well, how much for the entire tub? Maddie and I will split it. No, I'm not. I don't, I don't do video games. I don't do DVDs or video games, man. There's some shirts and stuff in there. Shirts in there. Back to the Future Space Jam. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> not uh, not vintage for you. Maybe. That's why didn't, why didn't you pick that up? Bro? Last week, yeah, that was cool. What else is in here? We've got Mass Effect, Mario Power Tennis, Fallout 4, Endangered Orphans. I think I saw them last week. Just going through all Some those. Boys as well. Oh, interesting. If you have the full set. What about these bad boys? You got a three dollar bin over here. Vintage South Park wallet. That's a cool wallet. Have oh, you got all the critters on yeah, DVD? That's my wallet. That's madness. Grand Theft 4, Adventure Time. GTA 4 is good. Watch dogs. So basically, yeah, getting back to that, I just needed the cash for the pockets. Hmm. Car boot in the car boot. Um, how much would you do on that box? Throw me number. I have no idea, man. What have you priced it at initially? Four bucks a game. Four a game. There's how many games do you reckon's in there? 30 or so? Yeah, probably. Would you do 100 bucks for the box? Yeah, done. Yeah? Yep. I have no idea what the value will be, but I'll, I'm sure it's going to be profitable if you're fine with that. Let's make it you got to buy something else, though. Yeah. Let's make it $80 in yeah. the box. Okay. And then keep going, eh? And then just keep going. All right. Nice. Oh, oh, you, you'll love this, too. What's that? Seven bucks. Let's oh, have a look. Wow. Oh, vintage rip curl. Yeah, Seven dollars. So wait, wait. The story gets better. Wow, that's awesome. The story gets better. Yeah. I check the pockets. Nothing. Look behind one of the things. Pull out 70 bucks. No <laughs> way. Yeah, bought it here. When? Amazing. How long ago? Oh, like three weeks. I did a reel about it. That's incredible. So the next profit, like Matt, is in... Is in the fours. In stack. All right. Well, why don't we do... Why don't... Why don't we do 120 bucks, man? Like, keep that at 100 and then do 20 on that box. Okay. Let's done. do 120 and I'll take both boxes. Yeah, done. You can keep that. You have taken a photo. Yeah, all good. 
All right, there we go. So we've just done a, a deal here, guys, of $120. I haven't really got into the hard numbers on this, but I feel like it's a pretty fair deal, right? You're happy with 120? 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you know the prices that I picked them up for are, yeah. are generally pretty good when I'm out hunting. Yeah. So. So it's a, like happy to pass it on. Happy, absolutely. And Courtney's going to be able to list all this up during the week. So 120 bucks. We've got a bit of stock here. Cool to see. Thank you very much, Nathan. Check it out. Take this stock games. Take this stock games. Take this stock games. And not only that, but Nathan actually goes ahead and cleans all of these. So he presents them really well for his, uh, for his eBay store. So a little less work that we have to worry about. We can just whack it up and list it. Nathan's actually got to delete all this off his store. All right, we are back home now, guys. Uh, I've just been going through the numbers on this video game purchase, and I'll take you through a few of them now. So in total, there are 71 video games that we're able to pick up off Nathan today. I paid an average of $1.70 per game, 120 bucks, 70 video games. So $1.70, it's not bad of a purchase price. These two were the best of the bunch. This Skylanders Imaginators was selling for around $25 to $30. And then this one here as well, we've got Motorstorm Pacific Rift, it was selling for about $20. Now, there are a couple of other games in here, like Forza 3, that goes really well. Um, there's a few other ones in here on the uh, on the Wii as well that were comping up sort of $15 to $20. A few of the Lego games go okay. Um, but this one here is probably, collectively speaking, an average sale price of about $12. And, you know, $1.70 into $12 is definitely going to make you some profit, but it's not really the game that I'm trying to play here with my eBay store. I'm trying to really actually grow my average average um, sale price. And this sort of a, a quantity of stock isn't really what I'm after. So a little bit of a regrettable purchase, not on Nathan's part in hooking up a deal for me because he did a fantastic job in allowing $1.70 worth of an average purchase. Um, it was just more me and, and the, the business that I'm trying to run here and what I'm actually trying to sell. And I think half of this stuff, this really low-lying sub $10 stock, um, is going to have to go into some consoles and do as a bit of a bundle to get rid of those. Uh, and then the other ones that are sort of anywhere between $12 to $20, um, obviously I'll list them up and I'll do untracked postage as well. So I'm able to sort of save on um, you know, a tracked postage rate of about $5.50, I think, to send that off now. So um, look, there's still going to be definitely some good money in it. It's going to take a lot longer than normal uh, with an average sale price of $12. Um, not something that I'm going to try and do a whole lot more of in the future. I think I just caught, I got caught out on wanting to give Courtney some stock uh, to list up when she starts tomorrow. I'm always sort of you know, conscious of the volume of stock that I've got for Courtney to list. So maybe caught myself out a little bit on this one. Still, it's a win. There's definitely profit. It's just not the best purchase that I've ever made. And I wanted to document that for you guys as well. Hopefully you enjoyed the video today, guys. I'm gonna leave you with another flea market video right here. Go and check that one out. Appreciate you being here for this one. As always, we'll see you soon.